Hey y'all, uh, it's me, Candied Rogue. Today we're gonna be playing a little bit of the Mortuary Assistant. We're gonna go through a night, maybe a couple. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Well, let's start a new shift. I'm also like, I'm playing in the dark in my room. It doesn't look that dark because I have my lights on so you can see me, but. I'm so glad dark. it's almost over. Congratulations. 19, I was born that year. Thank you. <laughs> I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's but... nothing disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. Pride. So. You haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Riverfields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. What things? Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. Sorry. <laughs> ghost bodies? <laughs> but I wanted to give you this anyway. For good luck. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Some of the audio is, like, way louder than other portions. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Not emergency services. <laughs> Game saves automatically. Nice. We love to see that. Riverfields Mortuary. Ooh. This line of work always, like, really interested me. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, what do we got? What do we got going on here? Ooh, it's nice. Is this like one of those ones where you can? Nice. <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay, so are her eyes closed? Yes. Okay. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Uh, oh, pencil. Nice. Easy to spot. Uh, access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use. Most but not all places where items can be used will use- will cause the use item icon to appear. Okay. I see. Nice! I signed it. Cool. Can I uh, snoop around a bit? Empty? Okay. That's fair. That's fine. We got a bathroom. May as well head on back. Rebecca. Hey! Perfect time. <laughs> Fuck. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Mrs. Page? Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Okay. Easy enough. Not too complicated yet. To bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, and then move the cart over to it. Uh, okay. So this was Dalton. Oh, it's telling me, so we're good. Cool. Gotta <laughs> turn around. Ah. Nice. 
Now we can push you back in. Close that. Dorothy Page. We'll pick you up. Oh. There we go. Okay, good fix. Oh. Down the hallway we go, Miss Page. Just finishing up something here. Okay. Why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Cool. All right. Clipboard use for forms and keeping track of mortuary tasks. All right. So this. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. You got anything on your face? Oh, yes. Okay. Anything on your... Hmm. Old never <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. Oh. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet. Zoe? After that, we'll get started. That was Zoe. I don't like the way he looks at me. To enter cadaver information, click the record system, record system icon. What was that? I didn't say anything. I'll Lord. die here? Y yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Sorry. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click Submit to print out embalming records, then file the records up front to begin the embalming. Simple enough. Alright, so we got Dorothy Page. 87. I thought I just... yeah. 87. Head. Keratolysis. Right shoulder is a rash. Right arm is another that. Easy. Nice. Wait for this ancient printer. Cool. Uh, packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they're available if requested. Oh, we had a trail. Aha. Boom. Now we'll head on back. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, monsieur. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and settings needles. Is that this one? Yeah, needle injector and then... Uh, fast tight setting needles, yay! Pull a manipulator up, press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull, then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Mmm. Sexy. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, insert eye caps. Eye caps. Eye caps. How do we do eye caps? Manipulator to open the eyelid completely, interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. Cool. Nice. All right. Mix embalming fluid in pump glutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, and formaldehyde. Hey, they're all here. And they are large items, so I can only take one. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Jesus Christ. I didn't even notice it was those. It's so loud in my headphones, bro. It's so loud. 
Oh, I did not like that. Okay, glutaraldehyde. The order doesn't matter, eh? Humectant. And methanol. Yes, please. Sick. Okay, cool. Now, make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with the scalpel. I know what a scalpel looks like. Let's cut you open. Ooh. Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory, select the item needed. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't have anything, though. Forceps and tubing. Uh, forceps? Tubing! Forceps, tubing. Nice. Okay. Cool. Simple. Easy. And now we just run it. Engage the pump. Loud. How you doing? You having a good day? Having a good time? He's very serious. He's a very serious guy. Okay. Looks like we're almost done. I don't like that noise. Uh, okay, cool. That's done. Turn off the pump, remove tubes, close the incision. And close it. That was fucking easy. What the hell? Okay. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert the trocar into the abdominal cavity. Okay, this is the bag. I assume this is the trocar? Used for injecting- yeah. And then this is cavity fluid, and we fill this. Insert the trocar until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag, reservoir bag is empty. Ooh, gushy noises. <laughs> That took a lot. There we go. Nice. Okay. Oh. It's telling me to go somewhere. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. I can do that. Cleaner base. Oh, okay. Nice! Tank cleaner? Yeah. Simple enough. Does bro blink? Does he blink? Or is he just gonna like stand there watching me the whole time? Like a lizard. Okay, we're cleaning the tank. What's after that? Apply moisturizer. Uh, moisturizer. We'll wait for that to be done. May as well. Cool. Move the wipe across facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. That's- that's not supposed to happen. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Okay. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. Um. Bye, I guess. I wouldn't want to stay in there anyway. <laughs> I, I would, I'd, I'd get the fuck out. Going home. <laughs> I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with that. That's not. That's not my cup of tea. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault. But he sent me home right after that. 
I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Ooh. Who's on the Hello? line? Hey, Rebecca. Hey! Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Aww. Just not feeling too well. Ooh. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Okay. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. What a supportive Thanks. friend. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Where are my keys? It's a cute little apartment. Is it like a... Where's my bed? Is it in here? Or is that the bathroom? Do I sleep on a pull-out couch? What's the deal? Shush. The nicest people are dead. Music band shirt? Sports. Mm, I like it. Whoa. Oh. Ten year sobriety coin. Dad's sobriety coin. And dad's necklace. Love you, dad. Aww. What's that? Death and decay. Is that maggots on the front? Oh god, gross. Movies and methods. Fashion design. Martin Parr. She's got a lot of books. Dang. Grandma! Grandma's cute. I'm not gonna lie. Grandma's pretty freaking cute. Uh, anyway, here are my keys. So let's... Head out. Let's head on out. Rainy! Alright, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. I'm having some coffee first. Never mind. <gasps> Hello? Can are you able to see who that is? He's calling. Hi, Rebecca. <gasps> Mr. Delver. Ooh. I need help. <laughs> outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start- Why lock me in in the first place if you're gonna unlock? I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you. This feels like a lot of responsibility. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. 
No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? Bye. This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Oh, that thing's so freaky. Okay. Um, I can stoop now. Fuses. Okay. Calculator. Uh, Alright, let's check this out. We have the hall key, an old key, and a tape recorder. Okay. Just double check the bathroom. Anybody in here? <gasps> Just me! Hi! Okay. Uh, alright. So, hall key, I assume? Yeah. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Ooh. Alright, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. <laughs> it's so unprofessional. This is how treat new hires. I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before. It's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. Shit. <laughs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. Okay. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. Okay. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. That one? Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. Okay. This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. What's this? Mini cassette tape, a small cassette tape labeled one night shift system. Okay, let's listen. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion used and most importantly all the markings of the known demonic names okay if you ever forget what to do replay these tapes or look it up in the database the collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle you will need this information my id card is in my personal belongings drawer on the back is the passcode to access it use it okay Will do. Oh, look, mine! My new work badge! Oh, I like it. What does it say? Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive, I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. Zoe, P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. <laughs> okay, so we were right. And look, it's our stuff. Ah. Uh. Raymond, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. Okay. 61033. 61033. Okay. 61033. Can I get in here? Just grab a body and get started. Okay. Number three. Wait, no. Um. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. This is all. Okay. Is this two? Yeah. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. Okay. First, the clay tablet in the 
Okay. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Fair. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evil These. Okay. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. And use that knowledge to create the mark. Okay. The steps are simple. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. And now we can listen to three. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you. Oh. Weakening you until you are unable to resist. Good. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, Criminal the more time building. you have. The closer you are, care. the more the demon will make Shit itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. Ah, okay. So then do I just... <gasps> oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. Alright, let's check this guy out. Is the clipboard... Yeah. At least I can keep track of things. 61033? Was that the code? Well, he's got a big one right on his forehead. Nothing else. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. No, you're not. We're we're continuing. We're going. You can't give up now. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. This is so stupid. Check your feet. Ooh. That one's got a marking. Go to the other side. Anything here? Ooh. Check your arm. Oh, there's one on top. Okay, and I guess you're back again on this side? There we go. Yeah! Alright, we got all your stuff. Let's put it into the computer. 61033? Let's try it. Let's see if I remember. Mm, I'm so good. I'm so good at what I do. Um, okay, so... I bomb each body with a special reagent from the cabinet. Use letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's names within the night shift database. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Pay attention to each body or demonic activity. Note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary. Place the mark on the body believed to have demonic tendency. Burn that body in the retort before possession takes hold. Okay, and we've got like, what do we got here? Identifying demonic tendency, new markings, sudden movements, repeat movements. Ooh. Okay, those seem pretty obvious. Uh, twitch of the fingers, or as large as full body manipulation. Alright. 
<laughs> that almost scared me. Working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can... Not filming the feet. Ooh, there a twitch. They're not supposed to do that, they're dead. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Uh, cool. And now we got... Uh, are these just like the names? Okay, these are- okay. I'm not getting into that yet. I don't have anything. And then this is tools of expulsion. Pretty confident with that. Uh, Alright, Nick Darlington. 42. Left shoulder. Right arm. Left arm. Right leg. Left leg. Nice. Cool. Simple enough. Let's take one of those letting strips. Yeah, let's take one of these. Yeah. Yeah. We may as well, while we're like walking around. Okay. Is there a reason that happened? Anything back here? We may as well check. <laughs> that scared me. All right, let's see if we can find it. Oh, basically a nine. I think I want to just like, because this doesn't like solidify where they are, right? I can just like move them around. Like if I do this, I can move them <gasps> i can't oh but can i replace oh i can replace okay so it's fine we're good we'll take another one of these all right let's get started with embalming uh so we start with this needle and the setting needles Okay, I'm so uncomfy. Alright, <laughs> this part's not bad. This part's easy. We know what we're doing. There we go. Okay. Next was the eye caps. I know I have the um, clipboard, but I want to see if I can remember. Eye caps. Nope. Okay. Do it one at a time, apparently. All right. Okay. Next was cutting that. Cutting that? No. Yes. Let's see. Let's check. <laughs> oh, mix in bombing fluid first. Gotcha. What do we got here? Humectin. That was one of them. Uh, oh. Uh, what are you? Bleach. Nope. You? Formaldehyde. You are one of them. Okay. Oh. Methanol. You are one of What the hell is that? Shut up! I'm working! Why they say my name? Uh, we're missing one, right? Glutaraldehyde. We're missing two. Tubing? Okay. What is that? Okay. 
Okay. Oh! Glutaraldehyde. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So that's... Uh, oh, yes, 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 the reagent. Cool. Now we do the scalpel and the forceps. And the tubing. Tubing was here. Whoop! Uh, forceps and tubing. Okay. Let's run this thing. We'll take a look around while we run it. Actually, first let's... We're good. Let's do a scribble. Let's take a quick peek. Quick peek around while we wait for that to drain. Okay. Almost. Nice! Nicely done. Suture you back up. Now... You. Uh, where are the IV bags? Oh! Perfect. Nice. We can close these guys. I'll figure out what that is at some point. Oh, wait. Leave that one open. Tubing. Uh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do this. Thirsty little cavity. <laughs> oh, phone's ringing. Wait a minute. Give me a second. There we go. All right, let's answer. You're just gonna do me like that? Okay. Um, alright. So we did the- we did that. So now, mix cleaners in the bathroom. Small photo, front 1970. The year of arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator. Oh, could that be a code? The year of arrival of the house of death, so 1970. The birth of its creator. And then... Raymond's birthday? Full number shall be six. Six numbers? We got four. Okay. All right. 1970 is the first part. Um, his ID card should have his birthday on it, right? Why is this closed? Let's not do that, guys. Let's not do that. Let's not fuck with the doors. Uh, does it have his birthday on it? No. Birth of its creator. Keep that in mind. I don't know if it's mentioned anywhere. Oh, not that. That first. Is his birthday mentioned anywhere? Can I snoop? Typhon walked amongst his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe, for all are assigned to the halls of hell. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin, for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell, as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. Uh, okay. 
All right. I don't think that had any of the information that I want. Uh, okay, that's done. So apply moisturizer. I haven't seen this guy do anything freaky, but you never know. All right. I am here. <gasps> no, it's changing. Ch -ch 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 changes. Okay. You, my guy, are probably fine. But you know, you never you never know. So we'll keep we'll keep you in consideration. Uh next, Alec Wise. Wise Alec. <laughs> uh I don't wanna put that there yet. Let's pull him out. Were you the one who was banging in your in your storage? Let's not do that. I'm armed. I'm armed with a piece of paper. Let's go, Alec. <laughs> Smart Alec. Take a quick gander. Oh. Yeah. Ah, fancy curly three. Okay. Fancy curly three. This one. Nice. Okay. Uh, we'll take another one. Does this have anything about his birthday? I don't know why it would, but... I don't think it does. Uh, okay. Cool. Right. So let's inspect you. He's got a smile on him. Okay. Nothing on your face. You've got crap on your chest, though. Nothing there. Ooh. A little something on your feetsies. He's got a lot of markings. There we go. Alright, sick. Uh, hang tight, guy. You shouldn't go anywhere, but you never know. Uh, 50. He's 50? out uh there we go all right let's get our print out bring it up to the front I, if I was not- if I was paying like 1% less attention, he totally could have just got away from me. I would not have seen him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's a freaky little guy. Oh. Why was there a missing fuse? Who knows? I sure don't. Alright, let's get you started, buddy. Let's do the thing. Close your mouth. There we go. What? Okay, this is not where I was. Burger bag. Yo, thought you'd be hiding in Billy's place. Your dad needs a total fucking loser. Ran down to the beach in just a sec. Grab your kid and get down here. Party's gonna start without you. 
Party's gonna start without me. No! No way! Uh... Oh, okay. That. I just want to look around real quick. This is Billy's place? Heroin kit! Ah! Gotcha. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Why is there water? You did this to me. It's all your fault. Okay, she's a little goofy. However, was that my dad? Fuck. Did I did I grab the eye caps? I don't think I did. <laughs> Thank you for sitting so patiently. All right. He's he's so happy. Uh can we put the stuff in here? Uh, you. 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 And then the reagent. Uh, reagent. Cool. All right. Tubing. Uh, scalpel. Forceps. Let's get the show on the road. Uh, forceps and tubing. Okay, start that. Funky looking seven. That's what we'll call that. We got a funky looking seven. This one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Grab another one of these because there's only one more marking. Alright. That is done for you, my guy. And after that, it's the cavity fluid, if I'm not mistaken. I want to see if I can do this one without looking at the clipboard. Uh oh, it's the cleaning one, isn't it? Crap. Don't Oh no. Damn it. Shit. Is there a way to t this is different? That's different. This is different. Fuck. I didn't open a door. Thank you, I guess. Is that cement? Oh. 
Okay, um, we have to drop this for a second. Um, oh, it's gone worse. Crap. Okay, crap. Um, anything? No. Shit. Okay. Okay. Um, I can't use oh. that here. Yes, you can. What are you talking about? Why can't I interact with that? Am I stupid? Oh no, I... I was on the right track. Did it just want me to... Go through that experience? I thought I filled it. Yeah, okay. It, I, I think it just wanted me to go through the thing. Drink up that fluid. Drink up that fluid, baby. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, nice. Now I can do the cleaner. I think. Look out here, not seeing anything. Oh, open it, then put the tank cleaner. Okay, take a look. Anybody have any markings for me? No, not currently. That's okay. We'll figure it out. All right, once that's done, it's just moisturizer. Hey friend, you seem so content. All right. You, sir, are done for now. I didn't see any movement on him. Uh. Alec Wise, correct? Yeah. How could I forget your name? It's so silly. All right, moving on to Elijah Gaines. I didn't do that, did I? That wasn't me, right? I can't pull out two at the same time. I don't have that kind of power. Alright, Elijah. Oh. Elijah, move your fat ass. Thank you. I guess it's the gurney's fat ass. Why are the lights out? Who forgot to pay the electricity bill? Oh, I hate that with a passion. Oh, I hate that with a passion. Okay. All right. Let's let's just take a cursor. Let's just take a look. We'll go through this little inspection pretty quick. You get beat. You get punched. Nothing on your back. Bear. Nope. To the arm. Fuck. I'm just ignoring it. Nothing's happening. Nothing happened. It's fine. There we go. All right, we got them all. It's okay. We're good. Uh, Elijah. Elijah? 20, 25? I'm 25. Uh. All these people are like young. Uh, left shoulder. Right arm. Left arm. Right leg.
Okay. We still need one more mark. Take this out. While we head out here. Uh, yep, that's good. Take a quick, quick look around. Take a quick little gander. Don't move. No. Okay. Nothing yet. Figured I'd check. You know. Can't be... Can't be too safe, I guess. Alright, let's close that mouth of yours. Let's close... Let's close that mouth. Nobody's coming for me. All right. Let's do the eye caps. All right. Cool. After the eye caps, we put the stuff in the tank. Humectant. Formaldehyde. Uh, glutaraldehyde. Then this one. Methanol. <laughs> and the reagent. You can't take them! Get out of here! I'm trying to do my job. The fuck? I earned this position fair and square. Why are the lights off? If it's that second guy's thing... It is. Alec again. I'll we'll have to take him out and like watch him for a second. For now, however, we're going to cut this guy open and do what we have to do. Get the tubing. Uh, forceps. PVC. Turn those lights on as we go by. No biggie. <laughs> no problem. Come on, give me the fourth one, please. Guess not. Okay. Let's remove the tubes. Close you up. Now, I'm not... Fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't mess with me. Please. <laughs> Please stop possessing me. Why did that get stuck? <sighs> Fuck. I don't want to deal with this. Locked. Fair enough. It's fine. Okay. Now we can continue. We can finish off <laughs> what we were doing before we were so rudely interrupted. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get the cleaning stuff. Do that. Why did all ambient noise stop? What the fuck? My own shadow just scared the crap out of me. No way, I'm not playing- I'm not- I'm not playing with the- Bitch from the ring. We're back here. But this time the bathroom's open. Can I interact with anything? What's that? Oh, drugs. I don't see anything I can interact with. Oh. Get tubing by bed. That. Get needle from bathroom. Mm, I don't like this. It's on the bathtub. Okay. Find the lighter. Is that? No, that's, that's the drugs. Where's the lighter? Is it on the table? Is it the lighter? No, that's another baggie. Where's the lighter? Lighter? Lighter. Get spoon from coffee table. Find full baggie on kitchen counter. That's this one that we looked at like four times. Uh, we're gonna do drugs. Hi. Get away! That bitch again. And now I'm outside. Why am I outside? Oh, because I walked out the front doors. You gotta give me the fourth one now, I swear. Yes. Yes. Okay. No, I'm not. You're lying. I don't care. Close it. Where is this one? Oh! J. Okay. So let's let's look at the names. <laughs> I I think I remember all the ones that we're looking at. Like nine, the curly three, the weird seven, and then the J. So nine, but no curly three. But the J. Okay. Uh let's go back. We'll check the next one. Nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, three, this one. Mass it. Nine, seven, three, J. Okay, so we have uh, nine, seven, three, J. Nine, three, Seven. Right? Correct? Is that the right three? The swirly guy? Yeah. Yeah. Nine, seven. Three. J. Yeah. That's the mark. Okay, we have the mark. The mark is done. So let's finish this guy up. Clean the tank. Why'd you do that? 
I, I don't understand. <laughs> Please leave me be. We'll get the moisturizer ready. Can we do it at the same time? No. We're gonna bring Alec back out. All right. Yeah, we're gonna bring him back out because I have a feeling. <laughs> Ooh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Shit. We're getting really close. We're, get, we're cutting it close. I really hope it's Alec. Coming out here, Alec. You're the winner of a second evaluation. And I need you to do something for me. I need you to like- <gasps> Yes! You are him. You are him. It is you. Okay, let's try that. Take the mark. Ugh. Oh, fingers crossed we did this right. Um, can I? Yes. We're gonna burn you. Are you sure this is the right one? Yep. Yes, I am. I am quite sure. Oh, let's do this first. Sorry. I thought. Get burnt, bitch! <laughs> Fingers crossed! Ah! Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Please don't touch me. It's really bright. <laughs> Staring directly at it. Did I did I do okay? It's never over. But you survived. What do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. Did we do it? I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. I mean, what do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we. I think we got. I think we did it. So I think we did it right. Waging this some selfless holy war. It's not a war. It's survival, and I'd hardly call it selfless. We're caught at the front line of something larger, but I don't do this for some greater good. We either face it, or fall to it. I wish I could claim to be someone better. Suffering hell to save us all. But I simply want to live another day, just like everyone else. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear. Or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Okay. Normal. Right. 
It's not a life I would want for anyone, but choosing between a life of fear or control. <sighs> You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift, learn what I know, give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. Okay. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. Gotcha. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. Raymond, when's your birthday? <laughs> I need to find that. Hey, beat the game once. A hey, ending one of five. We did it. We got it right. Um, I'm not gonna go back and try and get the other endings right now. I'll do that in another video, probably, probably in a stream. So look out for that VOD. I really enjoyed that. Those are the kinds of games I really love, where you're doing kind of like an inane task, you know, just the same steps over and over again, but you're looking for something that's slightly different. I love that shit. It's so good. Um, and I'm happy that we were able to figure out on the first try and we didn't really run into any bugs and we got a few good scares, but not, not anything crazy. <laughs> I didn't full on scream, but I, it, I did jump, you know? Um, <laughs> what you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion such as fear can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. Damn. I didn't read that before. <laughs> Go to your church if you experience anything, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this here for today. Thank you for watching with me and... I'm gonna leave this here for today. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me. Um, and yeah, you'll see this again. I'm definitely gonna try and get all the other endings. We'll go through a bunch of shifts and, and find secrets and stuff. We'll try and do it organically, but if not, we'll use a, we'll use a guide. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in another video. Bye bye!